Now we'll be talking about ST elevation MI. MI means myocardial infarction. Myocardial infarction itself means that there is permanent damage or there is permanent destruction of the myocardium means the heart muscle. And it's very important to understand why this uh, myocardial infarction is very important. In MI or myocardial infarction, we have two types. One is either ST elevation MI or non-ST elevation MI. So we'll be talking about this non-ST elevation MI in next topic. This In this topic, we'll be talking about ST elevation MI where we get elevation of ST segment. Whereas in non-ST elevation MI, we'll not get ST elevation. Hence, it is called non-ST elevation means there is no ST elevation, but it is still a myocardial infarction. So uh, the most important thing is why this is important. Why this is important? This is very important because those patients getting admitted with ST elevation MI, they have markedly increased risk of death. So any patient presenting with MI can die. So this we have to understand and we have to make the patient and the relative understand that they can die because of the ST elevation MI. <clears throat> Hence, it has to be treated very, very accurately and aggressively. So that can definitely happen. And that can be because of left ventricular failure or right ventricular failure. It depends which artery is involved, whether it is left anterior descending artery, left main coronary artery, or uh, posterior descending artery, or uh, lateral circumflex artery, or right coronary artery. Depending on this, there is extent of involvement of the muscle of the heart. So, if this patient has significant heart failure, muscle failure because this left ventricle or the right ventricle what it is it is actually a pump it is a pump which continuously keep on pumping the blood into the systemic circulation or into the pulmonary circulation so if there is failure of this pump because this muscle is damaged because of the uh, myocardial infarction or the heart attack they can definitely die because of the left ventricular failure or right ventricular failure as well so the death is very important aspect. So we must know that ST relation MI is very, very important. Second thing is morbidity. Even if the patient survives, if the patient still survives from this heart attack, then there can be definitely reduced ejection fraction. We know that left ventri uh, uh, the left ventricle has ejection fraction of 60%. 60% ejection fraction means it is 100% capability of the left ventricle left ventricle gives rise to aorta which is the largest artery of the body and this aorta gives blood to everything in the body that is to the brain to the kidney to the muscle to the heart to everything so this aorta supplies blood to everything and left ventricle pumps the blood to whole of the body so normal left ventricular pumping capacity which we call it as ejection fraction is 60 percent 60% means 100%. That is the 100% capacity. We call it as the EF is 60%. So whenever the patient has this myocardial infarction, this EF reduces. So it can go up to 40%, 30%, 20%. Usually with one heart attack, the uh, ejection fraction reduces to 15 to 20%. If the patient had earlier myocardial infarctions, then the uh, ejection fraction of the patient can be really very 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 less so if the ejection fraction of the left ventricular is very less then automatically the patient's pumping capability of the heart is very much reduced so when the patient has to do physical activity when when he has to run whenever he has to do physical activities like exercise exertion walking going uphill or going upstairs that time increased pump capacity has to be used but as this patient's ejection fraction is markedly reduced this patient will not be able to run faster or walk faster or he may not be able to do physical activity or exercise as a normal person would do and that is definitely a significant morbidity <coughs> if uh, <coughs> if i cannot run 
then that is definitely a morbid thing for me so i would like to run at the speed of 5 km per hour 10 km per hour 20 km per hour if i i have normal ejection fraction of left ventricle if the pumping capacity of the heart is reduced i will not be able to do physical activity that a normal person does that is the reason why this ef reduction because of the mi is significant morbid thing third thing is shortness of breath as we know left ventricle or right ventricle when there is mi the portion of the myocardium can get completely damaged if the patient doesn't undergo uh, the primary coronary intervention or um, thrombolysis so if this pumping capacity gets reduced then definitely there is usually uh, systolic dysfunction as well as diastolic dysfunction and that sets this ras system uh, into an overactive state and patient's heart failure simply worsens over a period of time so patients very commonly have shortness of breath <clears throat> and that can markedly worsen over a period of time if it is not properly treated so if the patient is not able to do any physical activity because of the shortness of breath then that definitely reduces the quality of life of that patient so st elevation mi is very important because it's one of the most common reason why patients do get the shortness of breath fourth is this reduced exercise capacity that i told as the pumping capacity is reduced the patient will not be able to do physical activity as earlier so it markedly reduces the exercise capacity so patient may not be able to walk to the garden may not be able to dance may not be able to do cycling or gymming so that markedly reduces the exercise capacity of the heart the fifth thing is that the patients as this uh, once the patient's heart is damaged and if the patient doesn't undergo angioplasty or pci or thrombolysis immediately for some reason then the part of left ventricle or the right ventricle gets completely damaged now this damaged myocardium is a focus for so many chemicals because there will be overactivation of this renin angiotensin aldosterone system there will be overactivation of fibroblast there will be <clears throat> increased risk of arrhythmias like svt vt rapid and these patients very commonly get repeatedly admitted for heart failure so uh, these patients do have very common repeated admissions for lvf pulmonary edema and the uh, Mm, arrhythmias like vt vfib or svt which is really bad <clears throat> as these patients keep on getting repeatedly admitted they usually have huge financial burden because with each admissions they will definitely have to pay a lot of money to the hospital so that is really a financial burden seventh thing is stress as these patients do have fear that you cannot do this you cannot do that you have to drink less than around 1 to 1.5 liter per day you have to significantly restrict the diet you cannot eat very oily spicy deeply fried food you have to be on salt restricted diet you have to be very careful with your diet with your exercise with with your the medicines you have to take so many medications per day so this is really a huge stress to have i think it's just been as we told because of the myocardial infarction the lv is significantly damaged so the pumping capacity of the heart is damaged and these patients over a period of time they worsen their heart failure worsens so they usually tend to have lesser and lesser blood flow to the coronaries if they are definitely not properly treated if these patients are very properly treated at each and every instance the chances of having all these comorbidities can markedly improve but uh, if this is not properly treated then definitely they have increased risk of having chest pain or angina or the angina equivalents like shortness of breath or palpitation or weakness or lethargy these are all angina equivalents the patient may have one of these uh, which is an equivalent to chest pain my thing is reduce survival as we know if uh, some patient gets heart attack the pumping may reduce from 60 percent to 40 percent many of the patients do have ejection fraction of 30 percent many of them are 20 percent <clears throat> so these patients 
simply keep on worsening because of the over accretion of rat system because of the fibroblasts because of the remodeling of the heart and these patients have markedly increased risk of ventricular tachycardia ventricular fibrillation they increase risk of left ventricular failure or right ventricular failure these patients very commonly present to the casualty with pulmonary edema early in the morning so these patients have <coughs> increased risk of hospitalization and increased risk of complications and dying from this complication at any point of time that is the reason why the st elevation mi or mi is very 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 important and the uh, the tenth thing is the depression and the poor quality of life you can simply uh, compare this to yourself because as a healthy human being i don't have to take any medicine i can eat whatever i want to eat i can go anywhere i can um, <clears throat> walk like 10 stairs 20 stairs 30 stairs 40 stairs i don't give uh, a damn or i am not worried but compare this all things with a patient who has st relation mi <clears throat> or those patients who has reduced ef they cannot have a, a liberty to eat anything they cannot eat anything they cannot go everywhere they have to avoid the cold uh, calming environment because it can exacerbate the heart attack they cannot travel to a far distance to suppose from this district to that district or to state wise they cannot keep on moving here and there because there can be a risk of heart failure there can be risk of uh, decompensation and that can be really difficult to tackle many of the times these patients they do have to take the blood thinner the two blood thinners the statins and there may be some medicines for heart failure there can be medicine for diabetes uh, hypertension or there can be some other medicines also so they do have to take so many medicines they have to take so many lifestyle changes they have to repeatedly visit to a doctor they have to do repeated testing so that is really a huge stress to always have so the best thing is to prevent everything and to be a good citizen so that you have a reduced risk of this st illusion mi so for this we only spoke about what is this what is the importance of this st elevation mi thank you we'll be meeting in the next topic thank you